In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a very interesting problem. Check if first string is a subsequence of second string. So the problem statement is given a string string 1 and a string 2. Check if a string 1 is a subsequence of a string 2. So before solving this problem, let's understand uh, what is subsequence and before uh, going to a definition of subsequence let's understand that through example so if a string is a b c d e f then b e b e is a valid subsequence similarly b d e is also a valid subsequence b c d is also a valid subsequence but if we talk about c a you can see c and a then it's not a valid subsequence as the order of character is not maintained similarly if you see d b a it's also not a valid subsequence so a subsequence may or may not be contiguous but the order of character should be maintained so let's uh, see the definition a subsequence of a string is a new string which is formed from the original string by deleting some of the character without changing the order of the remaining character so uh, one thing uh, is clear that the order of character uh, should be maintained so it can be changed so you can't go in reverse order so this is uh, as, uh, this is what a subsequence is now let's see the example so if a string one is a d e and here is the string two and we have to check whether string one is a subsequence of string two let's see a is here d is here and e is here so you can see the order of character is maintained and a subsequence may or may not be contiguous so it's a subsequence so it returned true similarly if you see the second example then we have this string and now let's see here is r okay here is s now then p so we can't go in reverse order reverse direction it should be so the order of character is not maintained here so it's not a subsequence so it return false so this is the problem statement and let's think for a moment now uh, and after that we will discuss its solution now let's discuss how we can validate whether a string 1 is a subsequence of a string 2. So what's the condition of subsequence? How we determine if a string 1 is a subsequence of a string 2? If all the character of a string 1 is present in a string 2 and also the order of character is maintained, then a string 1 is a subsequence of a string 2. So one thing is clear that uh, we have to traverse both the string in forward direction and also we have to compare that all the character of a string 1 is present in a string 2 so uh, let's uh, see how we can solve this problem so what we can do is uh, we have uh, a string 1 and a string 2 we traverse both the strings simultaneously and we compare the character of each string and if we found uh, both the character i mean uh, both the character of a string 1 and string 2 is equal then we increment i plus plus and whenever we have found all the string all the character of a string 1 in a string 2 then we return true that a string 1 is a subsequence else we repeat this step so let's dry run this code so initially we have two pointer i and j i point at zeroth index of a string 1 and j point at the zeroth index of a string 2 and here we have the logic of traversing both the string if i is less than string 1 dot length and j is less than string 2 dot length so let's start so uh, initially i and j points at zeroth index of both the string so i point at the zeroth index of string 1 and j point at zeroth index of string 2 then we compare the character so the character a is equal to a so we have incremented the value of i now the value of i is 1 is string 1 dot length is equal to equal to i no so string 1 dot length is 3 
and the value of i is 1 so we have not found all the characters yet then we have incremented the value of j now the new value of j is 1 so both i and j point at first index is uh, b equals to equals to d no so this condition is skipped is uh, we have found is we found all the character of a string 1 and a string 2 no so we have incremented the value of j and now the new value of j is 2 so is d equal to c no again we have incremented the value of j and the new value of j is 3 so is d equal to d yes so the value of i is incremented and it pointed this index and also the value of j is incremented it points at this index so let's compare is e equal to e yes now the value of i is incremented which is 3 and we have found all the character of a string 1 and a string 2 so a string 1 is a subsequence of a string 2 and we have returned true now what happens if here we have uh, a string like c and a the value of a string 1 is c a now let's see this case also so first uh, initially i and j points at 0th index is c equals to a no then equals to b no uh, then equal to c yes we have found now i point at this index and j point at uh, d is d equals to a no e equals to a no f equals to no uh, a no g equals to a no h equals to a no so c a is not a subsequence of uh, string 2 so we return false here so this is the negative case and so uh, this is how we can solve this problem and the time complexity of this approach is O n as we are traversing a string. Now uh, let's see uh, the main method. So in main method I am calling this uh, function is subsequence and I have passed two string a d e and a b c d e f. If I run this code then see the output is true and so uh, that's it for this uh, tutorial for more such programming tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video